So you guys, I'm starting my morning off with some chicken Popeye soup. This is black pepper that I put in there. It's not even morning, you guys. I woke up today around, I believe 11. It is now 2.07, so yeah. But I'm gonna start off my day with this soup. It was in the um, basement, just collecting dust. Decided to bring it up here. I'm not gonna say anything on it because it is so unique, so unique. And I'm just gonna have my son clean it off, and I'm gonna put it up here in my entryway. <laughs>
Okay, y'all. So, my coffee bar, I'm just not feeling it. I'm about to clean the counter, though, because we got some food over there. Let me clean it. But I think I want to take my big black and gold tray and use it as my coffee bar. I'm just really nervous of doing that because it's a very expensive tray and I do not want it to get damaged. So that's my whole reservation on that. Let me, I'm going to clean this um, counter off. So that's my whole reservation. This is my um, instant holder right there. So, but I, I, I just want a nice, it's about to be fall, and it's time for them hot coffee drinks and nice hot tea. And I just want to have me a nice coffee and tea area. You get what I'm saying? So I'm really thinking about using my tray over here. It's over here right now, and I don't like where it's at now because it sticks out. I'm gonna show y'all guys in a minute. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Too far. Okay, so you see, then I broke my my top to my um crock pot. The glass broke. And it shattered everywhere and it shattered all on my coffee pot. I don't wash the thing twice where I still feel glass on like literally like on the side of right here. Okay. So I'm going to take this again and put it in the sink because I just have to, I have to make sure all the glass is off of it. And I'm going to wash it one more time. One more time to make sure there's no glass on here. But the water sprinkle over that. Make sure it's no glass over there. I'm gonna wash this. I'm gonna wash all this stuff. I'm gonna I'm about to wash it all and let it dry. Even though I just washed it, but I'm gonna do it again. So you know my little sugars going here, my little packet sugars that I don't use. I want to get some little um sugar cubes and stuff. I want some sugar cubes. This is for the white sugar right here. This is where my coffee. I did have a little K-cup coffee maker, and I wanted to go back. This needs to be washed and dusty. And I wanted to go back to um ground coffee. So I'm gonna wash all that, and then I'm thinking about moving this. I just washed this too. Cleaner. Let's just use this. I'm gonna hurt it. Little one, the glass cleaner. Like, I don't know if I need to sit some under it. Well, that's my whole reservation. There's some stuff right here. That's my whole reservation, y'all. Then I was thinking about moving these pictures right here and putting my little, um, I have a picture of some, like, some little fruit. And it is, like, you got to go, I'm going to show it to y'all. And I was thinking about putting that there and remove, even though these pictures is more with the, the theme of the kitchen, I'm just not liking how they look. So I'm thinking about removing those. Tray over here. I'm putting that tray over here. I'm putting like my coffee, my tea, you know, all the shebang, bang, bang on there. Let me show you all where the tray is now. I'm using this tray over here. So beautiful. I paid a lot of money for this tray, and I really don't want it to get um damaged. But you see how when let me come from right here. So like when you walk, you see how it sticks out off of this, and that's what I don't like. I don't like how it sticks out. 
So I'm thinking about going ahead and putting this over on the counter as my little coffee area. But like I said, I don't want nothing to be leaked or damage the inside of it. So I would really have to really pay really good attention to it. But I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take all this stuff off and bring this tray. Look how beautiful this tray is though. Look at it. You can see that. Yeah, I paid a lot of money for this tray. And see how it goes. This thing is huge, y'all. It is huge. So yeah. I'll put this here. Let's make sure it's dry. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that just fits good right there. What y'all think? I think it really complements the counter. But I'm still thinking about moving that them two pictures because I really don't like those. And I'm thinking about using, let me go get that picture. And I'm thinking about doing this one. Like this. And taking these ones down. I don't know how I got these. Yeah. Let's take these down and see if I'm going to like it. If not, then I'll put them back. We'll see. Okay, let's clean it out first because it's a little dusty in here. Let's clean this off. I love this tray. If this tray got messed up, y'all, I would be so upset. Like, I'm telling y'all, I love this tray. I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff right off so I can put it back on here. And then I think this picture will look cute. Right? It depends on where the coffee pot is gonna be. So let's see how that's gonna be thinking about it. That's so cute over here, like that. Okay, you guys so i know i have where i need to like um uh, fill in some little holes on the wall that's where like the um it was like a shelf right there at one point but i'm not really worried about that because i'm going to be adding these little vintage like pictures in those areas and i think that's going to be real cute so this is just for now just getting started so what i want to add over here is i want the little um and i'm going to insert pictures i want the little container the glass and gold container that will um hold the tea then I also want um, a kettle so I can just have, um, you know, cut the kettle on and have my hot water for my tea. Um, if not, then I might get a nice little teapot. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to look real cute over here. I want the, um, what are those, like the little honey sticks? 
it's the little honey sticks that you can put in your tea i think that's what it is and then i want like the little sugar cubes and all that then i want like the i had the jars and i took them away where i can put like the caramel and the vanilla so i'm going to also do that so it's going to be like a whole little tea and coffee set up and then i still want to do like a little um cookie jar over in this area as well so um we can have like i can get like the cookies like the coffee cookies that you have with your coffee so i think this is um gonna turn out really nice then i'm gonna add um a couple of more pictures up here of these little vintage vintage pictures because i love those and they are so cheap on amazon and then they come already framed super super cute so i'm gonna get some more of those to add to the um to this wall area and i just I, I love it maybe i could find one that's vintage the same with, with like the same type of wood frame and i can get that and um add one that got like coffee on there you know like a coffee picture but it looks vintage and i can add it over here i think that'd be cute or like tea or something i don't know we're gonna look for some pictures and i'll insert some clips then over here you guys up here my um up here you guys my um season rack um I really liked it when I first did it. I really liked it. Um, I'm not filling the little jars no more, like the little these little glass jars with these little tops. So I'm gonna throw all those away, and I'm gonna get the new um, some new one which is gonna be glass, but gonna have the wood top. And I also insert a picture of the ones that I seen, so you can see what I'm gonna be doing with this area as well. This area on the other side of the stove, you guys. Um, it's okay it can be better but i think right there where i have the little salt and pepper um little containers and the um little oil diffuser thing i'm just gonna add a, um like a real pretty um vintage um bottle or glass bottle or whatever it may be i'm gonna insert a picture of the one i want and i'm gonna um add that to that little stand with some um oil where i can have like some olive oil but it looks real pretty the oil looks pretty inside the container so that's what i'm gonna do um right there okay you guys i need to do this area remember that's where the um uh can't even get it out where the um that tray was and I put the stuff back up here, but remember the stuff set inside the set inside the tray. But I put the tray in my um for my coffee pot. My water thing got scratched. Okay. So let's see how we're gonna do this. So one thing for sure, I'm gonna move this because it does not match. In here with my black and gold thing. Wipe down the shell. I wish I had something cute to sit up here for as far as like a vintage look, decoration. I don't know. I don't know if I should this tray back up here. This on here. And this was what I used for the coffee pot. I put this up here. really do nothing but I don't know. what y'all think this is really a light
how this look better. I like it better. I think it's cute. Yeah, I think it's real cute. So now you guys, you'll have me kids in the background. Ignore them. They just loud just to be loud at this point. But anywho, now you see the living room. It's a mess. So I need to go ahead and get in. Get it clean. This is where I spend most of my time too. In the living room. Watching TV and relaxing is where I like to be. So I'm going to get this nice and clean. First thing I'm going to do is light my candle. Get that going.
you guys. I want to show you things that I plan on adding to my space. So right here in the living room, as you can see, between these two sofas, like where you see my purse and you see that box that's filled with some stuff. Um, don't pay attention to that. But I want to show you, I want to get a um, table. So I'm going to um, do a side-by-side -side of the table I want to get. So I want to do a table. And I want a little small table. Now, I had a table that sat right here, but it still was too big for the space. I wanted something a little bit smaller. And the reason why I want a little tiny little table there, just where, you know, if I have some company over, we have somewhere to sit our um, cups and things like that. Because this table over here, my table, my um living room table is fully decorated so it's really no space like if someone come over to like sit their um cups and things down so right here i'm gonna do a small little table i found a real unique one that i really like so i'm gonna show you the one that i'm gonna get for right here okay you guys coming in the front door it's a small space but I'm try to bear with me i have this corner right here this little corner and in this little corner, I want to put a small little table so I can add a um, plant and like a little oil diffuser, diffuser on it. And I think it'll be cute. So let me show you the little table I want to get for this little spot right here. And I think it's going to be so cute, you guys. So cute. They have a little table in this little corner right here. Okay, you guys, you see this picture? This is a very old picture. It belonged to my dad. The like the car part is actually metal where you see the car and I want to put this on a um, easel stand so I'm thinking about getting an easel and I'm going to put it on where it can come against this wall and kind of be cornered or something like I want to get an easel for right here and then put that picture on it I think it'll look so nice do my whole um coffee bar trying to get I don't even want to call it a coffee bar. I want to call it maybe like the little coffee station. But anywho, you see I added those two pictures. And like I said, I do have some um, holes in the wall from like where some shelving was. But that's going to be fixed or a picture we're going to cover it. So it's not really a big deal. But um, I found two pictures to go on um, both sides of the um, of these two pictures. So I'm going to show you. The, so the first one will go on this side right here. And then the other one will go over the coffee pot. Coffee, like a, some type of coffee pitcher. But I wanted like an antique, like a vintage type coffee pitcher. So I found the perfect one that's going to go over the um, coffee pot. And then I wanted to do the picture of the lady on the other side. So that's going to be real cute. You guys, I got some earrings. And let's open them and see. Oh, those are so cute let's really check them out this is how they came out you guys this is how they came out they are so I'm trying to get this so nice you guys so nice I love these Recently got these ones as well. So pretty, right? Guys, 